Hello boys and girls, Lord Hawkeye here again. This is a video I'm making to say my piece about this whole tropes versus women thing that's making its rounds. Yeah, I know some of you are probably sick of hearing it, but I think I've got something interesting to offer to the conversation. The first video of it came out itself and, well, there's not really that much I can say about it. It's not really bad, but it's, man, it's boring. I mean, she doesn't really bring anything new to the table. The whole thing just reads like stuff she copy-pasted from um, wikis all over the place. So, if you're a person who support, who um, sent her money and supported her, personally, I really don't think you got your money's worth and you should probably bring that to her attention. That's my take. But that's not the main point here. The Amazing Atheist... I don't always agree with him, but I think his take on this was just absolutely flawless. I was truly impressed. He said that Anita Sarkeesian, by, by making the video so you can't reply to it, you can't rate it, and all that sort of thing, she's inadvertently making herself a damsel in distress, the very thing that she says women shouldn't be. Well, and, and that's very true in a way, when people are... Yeah, there's trolls out there making the death threats and everything, but Anita, that's everywhere. I deal with it, the Amazing Atheist deals with it, everyone deals with it. There's always going to be some eight-year-olds banging their heads against the wall till you pay attention to them. And you really weren't helping by making a big, um, making a big poster of these things and plastering it all over the place. St this, is, this is something that everyone on the internet needs to start learning. Stop giving stages to crazy people. Stop it. Uh, and yeah, Amazing Atheist kind of did this too, though he was making a valid point that feminism's got its crazies in it, but he's not gonna, but no one's holding them up as an example of feminism in general because really that would be silly. And no, the average gamer is not, is not, some, is not like those freak, like those freaks she point, he pointed out. I don't care what people try and say. No, it's silly. But, this does point out one of the central problems I've had with feminism is its complete and utter unwillingness to get out of the comfort zone. What do I mean by that? There are real, legitimate cases of misogyny out there. I won't, I won't deny that. There's countries where women get, get punched in the face for trying to have an education. There's some... Um, and I'm sure even 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 close to home, there's real there's real situations of injustice against women. Probably, I can't think of any in particular, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's out there. But feminists seem hell bent on focusing completely on these little, really quite non-issues like, oh, scandalous about women in video games. Oh, come on, that's just that's just, that's not really is it really that big a deal? Ugh. I mean, yeah. So what? We got we got the beefcakes in video games too. I mean, that's just that's just all that's just all part of the um, aesthetic. But um, anyways, this is um, one of my big problems with feminism, and not to mention the fact that feminism loves to go to government and try to get free stuff out of them. Oh, just drives me crazy. Like, first of all, ladies, you are not going to ever get respect by demanding that things be made easier for you. And you're especially not going to get respect by going to the government and demanding that they give you free stuff at other people's expense. I mean, stealing from people, in my experience, generally is not a good way to get them to treat you with respect. In fact, quite the contrary. Like I always say, use violence to solve a problem, you'll get the opposite result, and feminism is no different. So this is... Um, I think this is what feminism needs to do. They need to, they need to go to the scarier topics. They need to stop focusing on video games, media, and all these sorts of little first world problem things. Much as I hate that expression, it don't, totally does apply here. Like, um, like look at government. Look at look at the huge whole whole rows of photocopied old rich old rich white guys in government. I have never heard a feminist ever call them out on this. I have, I barely ever hear this. Like there's Hillary Clinton here, and there's a Hillary Clinton here's and there, but for the most part, yeah. And feminists don't seem to don't seem to be bothered by that. And um, or the blatant misogyny in hip hop culture. No, how come they're not going after that? 
You know, because that's a scary topic. You might be accused of being racist if you did that. Oh, too scary. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I go after... I go after scary topics all the time. I get criticized. I get criticized for it and all that sort of thing. And um, yeah, it's part. It's part of being an activist is you have to go after the scary topics. You have to talk about things that people are going to hate you for doing. And and going and getting a few trolls, internet trolls riled up. That doesn't count. No. So, to the feminists, I have to say, start th start. Anal start self-analyzing yourselves way more. Make sure you're practicing what you preach, because nobody's ever going to take you take you seriously if you don't. Go after the go after the bigger pic go after the bigger picture go after the bigger pictures, and don't just focus on these little on these little things that really don't matter in the end. And here's an idea here's an idea for you. Here's a great idea for you. Support both sides when when applicable. Don't just focus on female issues. If there are male issues out there, fo go take a look at them too. There are injustices against men committed too. And feminists seem to want to deny them happening. No, ladies, you're not go it's not going to discredit your cause if you defend a guy who's being, who's being um, treated unfairly, whether it's, in divorce, whether it's in divorce court or conscription and all that other sort of thing. I mean, I've done it. I have defended theists when I believe that they were wronged. I've even defended statists when I believe they were wronged. Like when people were going around saying that Pierce Morgan should be um, kicked out of the U.S., I told them to cut that shit out. The man, I don't like the guy. I think he's an asshole. But I don't think that makes it right to demand that he be forced out or silenced for speaking his nonsense. I think he should be perfectly free to speak his nonsense. That's what it's all about. That's why I don't... I don't censor people on my channel unless they're uttering threats or things like that. And especially, ladies, don't turn to politics. Oh, that's that is about the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Because when you when you turn to politics, you're not you're not activists anymore. You're political lobbyists. In that respect, you're no different than um, B. You're no different than BP. You're no different than Wall Street. You're no different than all those corporations that you so love to vilify. You're demanding free stuff at other people's expense. Why? Why is that any? Why is? Why are you any different? Because they because they don't deserve free stuff at other people's expense, but you do. Give me a break. So, no, well, I don't know how. My, well, that's that's my take on the situation. Don't know how much it meant to anyone, but there you go. Until next time, be aware and be wise.